so you'll be able to see beef come together. You know what I mean? And then on a, on another note, we gave like over half a million dollars away to, uh, to prisoner reform people who are actually on the ground dollars that's worth fighting, game. you know, for the freedom of inmates and accommodating the kids and different things, inmates so, and different things like that. And and also we wanted to, com. you know, bring a light to the First Step Act, you know what I mean, which, you know, Larry is qualified to uh, kilo to get some, you know, some messes with, relief with right now. And that's where interference came into play with this dude, uh, Rat, Officer Rat 100. Pete you know Kilo. I mean? A lot of interference came into place with Officer Rat 100 because what he done, you know what I mean, and this has to be talked about because we're on a million dollars worth of game. And I got to get a game to the youth because I don't want them getting caught in no crosses where this Officer Rat 100 Pete is concerned Kilo. because com. he's a live rat, you know what I mean? And here's, here's the truth of what he done, you know, even though he tried to deceive and put, you know, our text messages, you know, in a, in a form where we was talking about apples, he wanted to switch the game up and say we're talking about oranges. But you know, I got proof and I'm gonna show y'all the, the real text message that he didn't want people to see. But what this brother, you know what I mean, that called himself real, attempted to do and play, you know, with, with the old man, we call him the old man, we call him, I call him my brother, my friend, you know, but most of all with his freedom, you know, because on two occasions, one, him and his Chad, uh, what's his woman's name, Karen Chatman, you know, this is a lady that was entrrusted to go in and interview, you know, Larry Hoop, with an understanding of bringing this back to the family. We're not clearing a way for you to go and do this for no other reason. You know, we don't play like that, but that's what she done. She went and interviewed and ran off. You know what I mean? So what this dude has chosen to do is take a stand with a person like this, like when they was putting together the pardon for Larry a few years ago. And I let him tell that story. But I'm so, I'm feeling so good about it right now until I'm gonna say and what I don't cover you, you you're gonna do like Ron DMC. Mm -hmm. so, so she didn't, wouldn't give footage for the pardon. Now this, this is him being free. We just wanted, you know what I mean? Because when you're trying to humanize right. a person, then you use footage, you use their own words to help right. in situations Absolutely. like this. So it was about the money with her. She asked, well, what am I getting out of this? Yeah, let me reiterate that part. So when we were trying to put the pardon together, I said, he was trying to just get information on my father. So we, she had some actual footage of him. Like, asked the attorneys, would that be good to have this footage to put on this part? They're like, yeah, that'll be good. Let's see if we can try to do it. We tried some numbers. We caught up with the lady and I called and I asked her. I was like, um, we need some of that footage. Beast so we're trying to put this part dark. together. And she told me, she said, well, we'll go get paid for this. Well, how I'm gonna get paid for this? And I'm like, wow, this is about my father's freedom right here. And you want to know who's going to get paid for this footage. Mm -hmm. Beats by you know, so I don't know where she feels like she was um, really caring about our family, but um, she wanted to know who's going to get paid while we was trying to get this package together. Free Larry Hoover. And then moving forward after that, that's around the time Kanye hit, went to the White House not too far but too, before the end or after that. She seen that it was a buzz and my father's name was fresh in people's heads. And that's when she come from behind a rock somewhere. That's terrible. Looking like it was an opportunity. Kanye reached out to her to try to get the footage again some years later. And I don't know where it happened at, but somehow Wack wound up in the middle of the mix. Beats by the key low and dot com. Wack was bargaining, bargaining uh, the middleman with the footage. First he was just the middleman for her because she didn't want to speak to us. But then next thing you know, he's a partner in the whole situation. This is his footage. He got it in. Blah blah blah. Shoot. Sure.
So yeah, with, with, with this clown, with this clown, head up, like dude right here, he with somebody else. You know what I mean? He betrayed the dude. Oh, I'm down with y'all. The only reason I want to talk to him, you know, I'm, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt for my brother, because it's serious business, right? So I embrace that. I entertain that. And uh, that beast by the know, in retrospect, when I hear him take a different position, like he was partners with her and this and that the whole time, like, oh, <coughs> this nigga one of them kind of niggas. Uh, all money, good money with him. You know what I mean? Everybody go. I'm from the school where everybody don't go. You know what I mean? And when you're playing with a man, freedom like that, and everybody go, then, you know, I take that real personal. You know what I mean? So that's why, you know, I want all the culture, because I'm a nigga that stands for the culture. You know what I mean? I love the hip hop culture. Amen. You know, I, I put in a lot of work where the hip hop culture is concerned. Blaze the trail. And, and when I see one, you know, trying to shit on Tupac, trying to shit on Nipsey, so trying to so shit on you know, the homie Big U out there, trying to shit on Master P, you know, good nigga, real niggas, you know, Meek Mill. So you know, I, I see a nigga Dylan. get on a, a podcast and with a, with another rat and go off on Twenty One Savage, I'm like oh this nigga got diarrhea at the mouth. He, he like full of shit, right? He, he the type of nigga that will shit in the bed and blame it on the baby. You know what I mean? Imagine that. Uh, you take a raw shit in the bed and say, that's the baby shit. I ain't shit. It. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is how he go to trying to change narratives and different shit about the truth. And um, what be real cold about it is some people get lost along the way. You know what I mean? They get lost along the way and they'll roll off a cliff Talking. With, you know what I mean? Uh, Officer Rat 100. Talking. And, uh, you know, I don't like this shit, man. I'm, I'm gonna calm down and let y'all talk. Beat spotted. I hope Kilo people feel dot me because you know, I ain't the type of nigga. I don't believe in using rap. And some niggas call them punks. I, I, rem I remember calling nigga sissy. So he like a sissy to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's a sissified nigga to me. And I can see a whole lot of other things, but I'm a. I'm a, we own million million dollars worth of game, right? but uh, Beat spot, just 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 for the record, I want all that smoke that one is talking about. You know, I I know how to put all that out. So. Y'all time. <laughs> yeah, one last thing. The bottom line is that the stuff was taken from us, and he partnered partnered up with the lady to act like it was his, and I'm gonna sell it back to you when it was ours in the first place, and act like he's a street dude and you respect my old man and respect everything who is a real dude that's go harden up with this chick that stole something and try to go in front of the world like he really had a right to do it like he trying to you know he putting he putting people in bad positions out there it, it, it's people that's you know that's that's real upset about that and Every I don't dollar ain't good. you know what I mean I don't have nothing to do with my I don't know what a head is but you know he he, he keeps just jumping out there in the deep water, man. So the million dollars worth of game is brought to you by...